Hey YouTube, today we'll be taking a look at FreeDOS version 1.1. <clears throat> now, FreeDOS is in fact a Linux distro, as I jacked up the config.sys file earlier and it kernel panicked, so I thought that was kind of funny. Let me, um, I don't have my stuff ready, hang on. Blah blah blah. There we go. I could not get Windows 3.1 to work because HiMem.sys wasn't working correctly, like the Windows HiMem.sys. So here we are. This does support FAT32, so that's why I'm doing this. This does take a little bit, so, um, don't worry about that. Um, feel free to skip ahead if you want in the video, so. Go ahead. <clears throat> floppy access is still a little slow. Yeah, I haven't tried floppy access actually. Let's <clears throat> make <clears throat> continue. As Many programs like it to be called DOS instead of FDOS, as it expects MS-DOS. Let's just call it DOS instead of that. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. I don't know what it does here, but it like takes, it just sits here forever on this one little screen it eventually moves on though like I don't know what it does here but the hard drive just grinds away it's and there's a bunch of disk noise well just I'll let it do its thing while I go and grab a blank floppy disk well wait a minute Whatever. I'll go ahead and get it. I'll go ahead and get a blank floppy disk. Can you see that whole screen? Well, we're not getting the whole screen here, are we? There we go. That's much better. Sorry about that. Whoa. Sorry about this. This is a bit tricky. Alright. Much better. Alright. Let me just 
Sorry if you can't read that, but I wanted to get the whole screen. Be right back. I see it is now making progress. Here's my floppy disk. Just keep this with me. I don't know if anybody else has ever noticed, but once you have installed a Linux distro, you should often do a quick defragmentation afterwards. <clears throat> Notice there's a lot of things with the letter X at the end of their name. It's because the X means that they're uh, modified versions, I think. <clears throat> USP 1.1 drivers? Huh. I don't know why it does that so many times, but let's go ahead and install this next part. Yeah, there's a Sys Linux bootloader, which I always use. <clears throat> Mount your VMware what stuff? Because now it has to do a few things. Now. Go ahead and use SysLinux. I think I'm going to tinker around sometime with some settings. But for now, or whatever. I'll go ahead and press Control Alt Delete. <clears throat> Just keep in mind that DOS never says excellent commander file name. Install it to the hard disk. On this. Let's go ahead and try booting from our from our. Let's try booting from our newly created startup disk, shall we? Not on system disk or disk error. I'm sorry. Too bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and boot. So here we are in FreeDOS. Let me go ahead and eight colon. Run that eight colon.
Three dollars spoof. Okay, C colon. Nope, not C quote. C colon. Now, let's go ahead and type sis A colon. <laughs> System has been transferred. Now, shut down. Now, the optical drive and the hard disk just spin down. I think it's so cool. Let's go ahead and try booting from our newly formatted floppy. Let me go ahead and take that CD-ROM out. Well, I'll label this disc later, but but for now, I'm just gonna set this disc aside. Boot back up. <clears throat> okay, so not I haven't tried most of these options. I've just tried one and four. Now, as you can see, it already it pre-installed Cute Mouse, which barely uses any of the stuff. Whoa! Um, let me just. Uh, I think I just realized. This is an internet browser. Oops. <clears throat> then type help. Real quick, count DOS help. No, it's not. Let me just throw in DOS 6.22 here. Oops. Yep. Here's good old MS DOS Q Basic. Working as good as new. So what was I doing again? Wait. <laughs> okay, let's see something. Bad commander file. Okay. Uh, well, let's not worry about that for now. Um. How long it has this video been recording? 15 minutes. Okay, um, before you guys go crazy, let's go ahead and see what's happening. Mm. 
Okay, before you guys get bored to tears, I'm just going to go ahead and... Whoa. Um, interesting. Fridos Edit is... <laughs> Look at that! The normal stuff is still behind it. How weird. I'm confused. Exit. Well. Let's go ahead and shut down. So, FreeDOS is very interesting, very interesting OS. Thanks for watching. Bye.